Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are tackling uh, an exciting critical problem, number 920, number of music playlists. So this problem is rated as hard, uh, but we will try to solve it. So our mission is to determine the number of unique playlists we can create given certain conditions. So this condition makes this problem a fascinating one to solve, and the code for various languages will be in the description below, so make sure to check it out. So let's start by understanding the problem statement. We have music player with n different songs and we are going uh, on a trip and we want to listen to goal number uh, during our journey. However, we want to avoid uh, boredom, so we will create a playlist with a couple of rules. So every song is played at least once and the song can only be replayed if key order song have been played. Given n goals and key, our task uh, is to return the number of possible playlists that we can create. Uh, since uh, the answer can be very large, we will return it modulo 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. So to illustrate, uh, let's consider a couple of uh, examples. So if uh, n is uh, 3, goal is 3 and key is 1, uh, and the output would be 6, because there are 6 possibilities. So 1, 2, 3, uh, 3, 1, 3, 2, uh, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, uh, 3, 1, 2, and uh, 3, 2, 1. And uh, if uh, our n is 2, and goal is 3, but key is 0, uh, we can have also 6 playlists, but the possibilities are different. So for example, we have 1, 1, 2, so uh, because key is 0, we have 1 after 1. And same, for example, uh, 2, 1, 1, or 2, 2, 1, or 1, uh, 2, 2 cases, uh, as we don't have uh, pauses between uh, songs. Okay, so uh, let's dive uh, into implementation. So this problem can be cracked using dynamic programming, a powerful technique that allows us to break a complex problem into a simpler sub-problems. And our dynamic programming solution is based on a 2D table, DP, where DPIJ stands for the number of playlists of length i with j uh, being unique uh, song. So uh, we use uh, the modular operation 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 uh, to avoid overflows. And we will use uh, also a special trick uh, to optimize the memory. So uh, we will use i modulo 2 and also uh, i minus 1 modulo 2 and in our DP table. So uh, this is a memory optimization technique called rolling array uh, or uh, sliding window. So since our current state only depends on the previous state, we don't need to store all the steps. So we only need uh, a two row uh, DP table. So one row for the current state uh, i and one row for the previous state i minus one and by using uh, i modulo two we ensure that it uh, always uh, map to either zero or one uh, effectively keeping our deep table within just two uh, rows so uh, now let's uh, start implementing and i will explain step by step so modulo uh, int to the power of 9 plus 7 dp 0 4 in range n plus 1 4 in range of 2 and dp 0 0 will be 1 so uh, we first initialize our dp uh, table with zeros uh, and the size of the table is 2 times n plus 1 and we also set dp 0 0 to 1 uh, since there is one way to have a playlist of length zero with zero unique songs, so uh, which uh, is an empty playlist. So next, we will populate our DP table row by row, and our goal uh, so is to make outer loop traverse from one to our goal. Uh, okay, so four i in range 1 to goal 
plus one, and then dp i modulo zero, and four j in range one minimum i n plus one. Okay, so inside uh, the outer loop, uh, we first uh, set dp i modulo two uh, zero to zero. So this implies there are zero ways to create a playlist of length i uh, with zero unique songs. Then uh, the inner loop traverses from one to minimum of i and uh, n. And uh, inside the inner loop, we will first calculate uh, the case where the playlist add a new song to our uh, playlist. So dp i modulo two j dp i minus one modulo two j minus one n minus j minus one modulo modulo. And the number of ways to do this is dp i minus one modulo two uh, j minus one times n minus j minus one. Uh, as we are adding just one of the new song not yet included in our playlist. And then if uh, j is greater than key, we also consider the case where we add uh, an old song. And the number of ways uh, is just uh, dp i minus one modulo two uh, from j times j minus k, uh, as we are adding one of the old song that hasn't been played in the last key song, as we are allowed to use key. So if j greater than key, then dp i modulo 2j will be dp i modulo 2j dp i minus 1 modulo 2j uh, j minus key modulo mod. So yeah, uh, and uh, in this uh, last part, so dp ij uh, modulo 2 of j uh, times uh, j minus k, uh, and we are adding one of the old song uh, that we didn't add. And finally, what we do, we return dp of go modulo 2 n, which represent the number of possible playlists of length of goal with n unique uh, song. So let's return dp goal module 2 n. And this is our implementation. And let's run it to verify everything work. So yeah, all good. So for n3 goal 3 uh, key 1, output is 6. So all is good. So now let's uh, submit it to verify everything work. So yeah, I hope it's working. So we beat 89% uh, with respect to uh, runtime and also 81% with respect to memory. So uh, all good. And yeah, uh, so this is implementation and there you have it. Uh, we have successfully solved late code uh, daily challenge 920 number of music playlists using uh, dynamic programming. So dynamic programming might seem uh, hard at first, but once you get the hang of it, it become a great tool in your uh, coding toolbox. So I hope you found this video uh, insightful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more coding problem solution, uh, tutorial explanation, and much more. And don't forget to check out the code in uh, other languages in the description below. And remember, uh, keep practicing, stay motivated, never stop learning, happy coding, and see you next time.